Hey everybody, Chris here, and in this video, I want to share more ideas for how you can make money online. I found some pretty good stuff. I was watching some videos by Kevin David, uh, doing some other research, um, and I even got some got some feedback from customers who customers of mine that is who have some some cool ideas for ways to make money online. So I figured I would share some of those with you. Now you're not going to get rich doing any of these, but they're easy to get started. They're easy to do. They don't really require any specialized skills for the most part. And so if you are interested in becoming a digital nomad, if you're interested in funding your travels around the world and just need to get out of the office, this will make you enough money to do it. You can do uh, one of these or you can do multiple of these, but they're, they're all pretty easy. You'll get paid pretty quick. They don't require building a business, et cetera. So if you just want to get out of the office as fast as possible, this is probably a good way to do it. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is, is this one. It's called TryMyUI.com. This is getting paid to test software. Now, when a company creates a new software, they, they want to make it as easy to understand, as intuitive as possible, because if they don't and they release the software and then nobody knows what to do, right, then their, their customer support team gets swamped with calls and with emails, and they want to avoid that. So what they do is they hire normal people to test their software and see how easy it is to use, how understandable it is. So you can sign up for this. It's trymyui.com. Uh, go up to go to get paid to test down here, and uh, you get paid pretty decent money for that. Uh, the um, and there, there's a few other sites that will do basically the same thing. And basically, what you do basically is you test the software. They send you the link to the software. You test the software, and then you give your commentary on it. You tell them like how how easy it was to use how in each little part like if you're trying to find a particular place comment about how easy it was to find etc uh, another one that's the same thing is called userlytics userlytics.com this is another thing where you just um you just test test websites or you test software and you give your commentary on it another one is called usertesting.com um, again all three of these do the same thing now the drawback to these is that you do not, um, it's not, it's not like a full-time job. You don't get full-time work doing this. They they pay you, uh, I believe that all, all three of these pay you $10 per, per test and each test takes about 20 minutes. So if you, you know, if you do three tests in an hour, like each test is 20 minutes, you do three tests in an hour, you made $30 an hour, but you're not going to get full-time hours doing these. Uh, you're just going to get whatever is available. So I would recommend that you sign up for all three if you're looking to make more money than just you know a few hours here and there. So sign up for all three, and then you'll get you'll get uh, more work than if you just signed up for one. And as for what you need to do for it, um, not a whole lot. I mean, you just need to be able to speak decent English. You need to have a computer, and just go through the go through the um, the videos and, and be helpful. You know, you're trying to help these software developers know what you feel. So comment on every little part of it, right? So pretty easy to get to get paid that way. And they, they pay you to your PayPal. Uh, another another way is customer service. There's a lot of these, you, you've probably seen it before. If you have, there's a lot of chat customer service. Well, you can do phone customer service or chat customer service, or sometimes it's even on Facebook Messenger, right? Well, they're hiring, a lot of companies are hiring a lot of people to do this. One big company that's hiring people to do this is called App is Apple. Of course, you know everybody knows Apple, and um, it's called uh, the the position is called at home advisor. So go to apple.com/jobs/us. Well, in my in this case, US. I'm not sure if they hire outside of the US. You'd have to check on that. Uh, slash AHA, and um, or you could just find it from the main Apple website. But anyway, so they have a whole bunch of people that they're hiring as at-home advisors. So if you know Apple products, if you're familiar with Apple products and you think you could help other people understand their Apple products when they have questions, then that would be a good fit for you. Another uh, customer service job is, is at arise.com. Um, so just uh, go to arise.com, click the work from home button, see the opportunities they have. Another one is liveworld.com. And again, there, there are a ton of companies that are hiring customer support reps. I'm just giving you a few that look promising to me. So liveworld.com. Um, there you go. So you can, if you're a bilingual, uh, you get probably get paid more. 
but you can be uh, just a regular customer care agent. So um, there you go. This is a work from home position. So, you know, when they say work from home, they mean work from a computer. You don't necessarily have to work from home as long as you have the computer. Sometimes you need a phone line, then you can work from wherever you want and travel the world. Another one is called capitaltyping.com. This has got a few, where did it go? Um, go, to, go into jobs and it's got a few customer support positions too. And then one last opportunity I want to tell you about, it's a little different. It's called rev or rev.com. So go to rev.com slash freelancers. And there's a few different options where you can do here. You can be a transcriptionist, which means that you listen to an audio or a video recording and you just write down whatever they said. Right. So, um, you know, pretty easy work, something that anybody can do as long as you're fluent in the language that you're transcribing. Or you can do captions, which is pretty much the same thing, except you're doing it for a video. So the only difference is that uh, that you have to you have to match the, the text with the video, with the timing of the video um, and creatively convey sounds. <laughs> So that, uh, and it gives you the range of pay here, right? So for transcriptionists, you get 36 cents to 65 cents per audio or video minute. So if somebody gives you a 10 minute audio and says, transcribe this, then you get anywhere from $3 and 60 cents to $6 and 50 cents for that. And that'll take you, um, depending on how fast you are, probably it'd take you, take you, um, maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes, right? So say it takes you 30 minutes you're making $5 an hour. And then uh, if you do two of those in an hour, because it's, they're each 30 minutes and you're making $10 an hour, make a little bit more if you're a captioner. And then you make a lot more if you do translation, right? So if you know a foreign language, then you can sign up to translate subtitles and that pays $1.50 to $3 an hour. So you can make a pretty decent amount of money with this. And um, th that's it for all the job ideas I'm gonna give you here, but realize that, you know, this isn't big money. You're not going to get rich doing this, but if you want the freedom, if you want to get away from the office and take advantage of the low cost of living that's available around the world. I mean, if you're making $10 an hour, a lot of places, that's a great salary, right? In the U.S., that's not very much, but a lot of places around the world, you can get by just fine on $10 an hour. So definitely something to consider. Um, even if you know if you have higher aspirations and you don't want to be doing that forever, at least it will get you out of the office. It'll give you more flexibility about your schedule. It'll let you travel, and it'll give you probably more time that you can spend um, working on on trying to trying to pursue the, the career that you actually desire. So definitely some things to think about. Uh, if you have any comments or you have any other ideas or you want to tell me like if one of these worked for you or didn't work for you, tell me in the comments. And then if you like this, if you like the, com the content, please like the video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you make sure that you get all my content right as it comes. So you, you're the first to get it. You get updated in real time. So that's it. You guys have an awesome day and I'll talk to you later.